So this short video is all about HTML lists. There are three different kinds of lists in HTML. So in your web page, you can have a UL, which stands for an unordered list. And that's simply a list where the order of the items does not matter. OL stands for ordered list, which means they are numbered. The order of them does matter. And instead of bullets, you get numbers or letters in front of them. And then dictionary lists. With a dictionary list, we have dictionary terms and then a dictionary definition. So these things come in pairs. You have to think of them as two items. Now for styling, we have list style position, two values for that, inside and outside. So you can see here with this red outline that I've added to the UL, the bullets are placed outside of that. If I change this to inside, they move over. So they're right along where the border would appear. Same thing with the OL. Inside puts the numbers right along the edge where the border or the outline is. And with the dictionary list, doesn't really make much of a difference here because it's against the edge regardless. There is no number or bullet or other item being placed outside. Okay, so how to change the bullets, how to change the numbers? Well, there's another property called list style type where we can specify for the UL, the unordered list, these bullets, these ones right here, these are disks. That's the default that you get. We can make circle. So it becomes a, a hollow circle or we can do square just like that. With the ordered list, we're talking about what kind of numbering we want to use. So with list style type, we can say decimal. That's the default. You can see doesn't change at all. Or we can specify I want lower, meaning lowercase, or upper, meaning uppercase, and then alpha for alpha new alphabetical, Greek or Roman. So we can say lower Greek, alpha beta gamma. We could say uh, lower Roman. There we are. Now, you might be wondering, well, why pick the different ones? Very often, you've got a list inside of a list inside of a list. And every time you indent one more time, you want to be able to change the numbering. So if I were to come down here, let's say inside this first item, there's an LI. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to create another list inside of here. So I will add another ordered list and it will have its own list items. We'll just call them level two. And I'll put a couple of them in there like that. You can see they've all used the same numbering. But what I want is I want upper Roman for the first one. And then I want to use lower Roman for the one that's inside. Well, in my CSS, I can do this. Ordered lists that are inside of ordered lists. We're going to use the list style type property, and we're going to make it lower Roman. There we are. So we have the upper Roman at this level, and then the lower Roman on the inner one. And you can do the same thing here if you've got a nested list item. Now I left this one blank. I didn't put any text inside of here, but I could have added some text at that point as well. So we have lots of options here. With the dictionary lists, we will usually be styling the DT and the DD a little bit differently. So you're probably going to do something like this font weight. I'll make it 700. So bold on the DTs and then the DDs, the dictionary definitions, those ones, I'll probably just indent them slightly. So we could do something with, say, the text indent property. And we'll do that. We could put a, a lighter font weight on there if we wanted. Let's do 300, 100. Oh, nothing coming up with this font. Yeah, I'm not getting anything in there. But we could, if we had a font that supported a lower uh, font weight, we could do that. So we've got dictionary term, dictionary definition, the list items, the li tags are what are used through the other two. 
So these ones are much more common, the UL and the OL. Those ones you'll come across a lot more than you will the DLs. So LI, list item, is what you put inside of these two. All right, and that's the basics of HTML lists. So hope that helps you out. Have fun with that. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments down below. And as always, thanks for watching.